Hi everyone. So today I want to go through um, briefly how I tackle this task, Coma Academy. So first of all, the first thing I would do really is look at the mockup and go from top to bottom. I will sort of scan, look through each, each section and think of what sort of strategy I would use for each section. So for example, navigation bar, I would use Flexbox and sort of how many containers I need. So I need one container for the logo and another container for the links. And then they are contained inside of a larger container called navigation container. So if I just um, go to my code, as you can see, I've got the parent container, which is navigation bar, and I've got two immediate child. One is for the logo and another is the UL. So I added this a bit later on when I, I was doing the mobile responsiveness. Um, so, so before I do any sort of styling, I would write out every single text, include all the images in the HTML, like so. Um, so I would write up all of that that I need without any styling. And so after that, I will go into my CSS. And uh, since I've got, um, linked up the Google font uh, font, so I'm going to change every all of the font to a specific font that I've chose. And then I do margin zero, padding zero, because by default, browser added some padding or margin, um, and that would sort of affect the looks when um, we do, we sort of write out the code. So that's why I've made it zero. And then I've also added some CSS variables to the colors, so I don't have to always type out the hash and the specific color. Um, I can just put variable like so at the bottom here, variable and then brackets dark gray every time I need that color. Okay, so, so first of all, the navigation bar, I will see that there's a parent container as I have mentioned before. And there's two immediate child container. So I can just actually display flex on the parent container, which is the nav. And the moment I display flex by default, flex box moves the child next to each other. So the on campus, all these links, it, by default, it's actually at the bottom of the logo. And the moment I display flex, it would actually jump up to the to the next to the logo, but there wouldn't be any space. So the, the um, way to add space in between the logo and the links is actually justify content space between. And I want them both of them, both of this container to align properly. So that's why I have um, done the justify item center and align item center. And then um, after that, if you see on the right hand side here are all the links, the different links. And there is there's a parent container um, outside of the, these links. And then there's four individual containers inside it. And so I can also display flex for them. So display flex on the outer container, which is actually the UL. That's the parent container that is here. And these links are actually the child. So the moment I display flex, as you know, it automatic, automatically change into a row. So I don't really have to do much except for adding some paddings in between them. And then I move on to the second section, which I call the hero section. And I can see there's also a parent container here. And then on the left hand side, is one container and on the right hand side is another container containing all the text and buttons. So the same thing I would do there. The parent container is hero container. So I will move down to hero container. I would display flex. So these two immediate child container 
would move next to each other. And then I move on to the text component. I also display flex on this text component, which is hero right class. So I move down here, display flex. And by default, as you know, it goes into a row, so next to each other, but I don't really want that here. So I change the flex direction to column and making sure that they are centered. Okay, um, and so I move on to the third section, which uh, it's, I find CSS grid is easier for this because if you see in the mockup, this here, there's a line here and the container on the left is actually 60% and the container on the right here is 40%. So there's a sort of a ratio here. So this is three ratio and two. So that's what I've done here. I have display grid on the parent container and then I've assigned uh, the two container to be this specific size. So I want three fraction here, which acts like a ratio. So three to two. So it's smaller on the left and sort of larger on the right. So now that I have done that, same thing again, I can see on the left-hand side here, which I have called news left, which consists of the image and some text. I would display flex and by default, uh, so the text will sort of go over to the right side here. So they're next to each other, but I don't really want that here. Same thing, the text, uh, I have done a uh, column, text direction to be a column. And uh, so on the right side here, it's also the same thing. There's a parent container, which I display flex. Um, oh, we're talking about the right container here. So the flex direction is column. So there's one container, two container, three container. So they're in a column direction. And uh, inside each of these containers, I also want to display flex. So they go next to each other. There's two containers here, one for the text and one for the image. So the moment I display flex on the parent container, which is each of these orientation, which, which consists of the image and the text and campus and also guest. So the moment I display flex on this parent container, the immediate child would go next to each other. And then same thing in this text box is another container. So as you can see, it's called orientation info. So in the orientation info, the campus info and guest info, um, yeah, they, have sort of um, they would sort of be uh, be sort of I just need to sort of uh, align them properly here um, and so moving down to the bottom the start learning container here um, so in this section I would actually use CSS grid as well um, because as you can see there's six different containers larger containers. And they are surrounded by another wrapper container, which I have called SL grid wrapper. Yeah, wrapper, which wraps up all the six different container, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So same thing, the parent container, I do display grid, and then I want them to be one fraction, one fraction, and one fraction each. So they're the same size. So instead of writing one FR, one FR, and one FR, instead of writing that inside of here, I changed it to repeat three times of one FR. So it's the same thing, but it's uh, you don't have to write so many times. And also inside of each container, I would display flex and the direction would be column. 
And uh, okay, so move on to the thesis container. It's the same thing. This um, container is actually the same as this container. So you can actually have the same class so you don't have to repeat yourself with the grid. It's actually also three fractions and two fractions. And same thing with the urban container. So there's one big container here consists of the video and the text. So there's two immediate child container. And the moment I display flex, the text would actually go next to the video, but I don't want that here. I want it to be a column. So I've changed the direction to column. And same thing on the right um, here. And then, so we move on to the footer. This footer is actually about the same as the top navigation bar on here. So we just display flex, display flex, and the terms and privacy link would actually jump from the bottom to the right hand side here. And you just do some space between both of them. Okay, so that's all done. Um, I haven't really talked about the font size and color because um, I think that's uh, not, shouldn't be uh, much of an issue. So I haven't really talked about that, but I will just move on to the more important one, which is um, mobile responsiveness now. So the way after I've done all that desktop uh, responsiveness, I do the mobile responsiveness. So I assign media to the specific screen size. Um, I've made it a bit larger than the, the normal mobile size, but that's all right. So first of all, I would actually display none, make sure um, all that desktop. So I'll just use this one instead because it's a bit easier. So I'll make sure all that desktop logo and UL link is not displayed. Down here, I'll drag it up. So these links and this logo, I don't want them to display in the mobile. So I display none. And then I want the mobile uh, navigation to display, which I have uh, written under here. So it consists of all the different images. So I want them to display. So I do display grid. And then I want them to be in the same size. So one fraction, one fraction, one fraction, and one fraction each. So repeat for one fraction. Make sure they align properly. And the hero container, instead of the, being in the uh, default flex direction, I want it to be column. I want it to be down here. So the flex direction is column. And then same thing on the news left. So I don't want this to display. I want to get rid of this on the news. It's called news left. I've given that class, so I display none. And on the right-hand side here, same thing. I want to actually get rid of that image as well. And uh, so, yeah, on here, I've named it a desktop. Campus like So these are all the images for the desktop. It's a bit different. It's different to the mobile. So I have display none for the desktop image and display the mobile image instead here in line. And I want each container to be take up the full width. So I have got one fraction for each of them. So they display only one. Uh, and then, yep, instead of it being on the right, the text, I want it to go downwards so it's below the image. So that's why I've done flex direction column. And moving downwards to the start learning sections, I have also hidden everything that was in the desktop in the start learning section. So all this grid I have hidden. 
So that's why I've done wrapper, display none. And I want the mobile to display and I want it in a column manner and not row. So that's why the flex direction is column. And then move on to the DC section. I want this on the right hand side here uh, to display none, which is the other thesis container that I've coded. And then I want the urban info down here to display none as well. So that's why you see I've got comma there and display none. And the thesis grid, again, I want it to be just display one video here to take up the whole width. So that's why it's one fraction. And then the footer, the UL, I want it to display none. So as you can see, there's like links here that I don't want in the mobile. So I have display none. And that's about it. I hope it's helpful. And uh, thank you for listening.